the issue of Shakahola. And I, uh, I think there is a misconception. Uh, if I'm not wrong, NIS did not did give timely intelligence uh, that initially was actioned upon. Um, and even as ODPP, we were able to prosecute some of these uh, individuals, especially uh, Mackenzie. However, when we went to court, uh, he was given uh, bail. Uh, some of probably the argument is uh, this bail that was given was not adequate uh, to safeguard um, uh, from uh, the atrocities that he has committed. It is not correct to say that NIS did not play its role. Uh, probably the rest of us within the criminal justice system uh, might have to review how to action intelligence. And this is one of the view and uh, one of the visions that I have uh, that as NIS we will be able to assist the criminal justice system to convert intelligence into evidence. Because I think the intelligence that is there cannot be used in court. However, it has to be converted so that it can be actioned as evidence. On the Shakahola Honorable Chair, I think there will have to be a paradigm shift uh, for us as a country. For a long time, I think extremism and violence extremism was viewed from a certain prism because terrorism has traditionally been viewed, especially in, uh, in, in Africa, as a problem that has been brought about by Islamic extremism. I think with the Shakahola incidents, we can see that as NIS, uh, under the government, whole of government, we will have to cast our net much wider to cover extremism that can come from either um, um, you know, the Christian faith or Hinduism. In, in India, for example, we have Hindu extremism, uh, and those have to be dealt with. I think uh, the paradigm shift that has to come is that extremism can come from anybody, whether they be Muslims, Christians, or Hindus. Uh, and the posture would be that uh, we will have to deal with them um, um, as such that they can be potential threats. There are adequate mechanisms in place. Uh, I think NIS, NCTC, and other uh, and NCTC stands for National Counterterrorism Center, and other uh, security organs have adequate programs in place. We have what you call the CVE programs that is countering violent extremism, and we only need to apply that. Uh, across board. Uh, since the infrastructure exists, uh, I think the, the, the only paradigm shift that we need to do is now focus 